Hi, do you create videos? Are you on social media? Well, I have a tool for you that would make your life so much easier. It's called Flex Clip. It's an online video editing suite that has everything packed in one. We're on the main page, as you can see. It has many different templates ranging from business, whether you want to create a real estate video or trailer or tutorial video. In my case, I do a lot of tutorial videos. I can create a birthday video for personal use, you know, send mom a happy birthday and go that extra mile, an anniversary, memorial, video, travel, music. And of course, everyone's on social media. You can make YouTube video, Facebook, Instagram. It has the right size for it. As we scroll down, you could create from templates. You can create it from scratch. And if you blank, you can get ideas from all the topics that it has. You could also start off by signing up for free if you want to do a little test drive of it, but I guarantee you will love it. It has uh, thousands of templates, has 3 million animated text and element, 4 million stock images. And as you can see here, it's very intuitive, very easy. All the categories are here. Now let's log in. I already have an account. So I'm going to log in using my account and I've already played around with this. Once I'm logged in, I can see on the left navigation, my um, home. These are my past project that I created as a test. I um, have my favorites here. Go over here. I could rename, duplicate, delete the video. There's a bunch of stock images that I could search depending on like different topics here. And depending on your plan, which I'll talk about later, you could have cloud storage. And you could also even upload your very own font too. So let's start off by doing a video from scratch. You have two modes that you could choose, which is storyboard board mode or timeline mode. I'm going to choose timeline mode. In storyboard, let me tell you a little bit about it. You can use intuitive storyboard to build storylines and sort out footage for easy editing. For timeline, you could do flexible timeline with multiple tracks, it allows you to edit every detail with great ease. You could combine your pictures and you could combine your videos and you could use their template. So let me show you. You choose, thing spins around, and this shows you a little quick guide, you know, how to add media, how to edit timeline, how to add effects, but I'm going to show you how to do it. And you could do a don't show again if you're very familiar with it. On the left of your page, you'll see your navigation. You have your media, which is you could search into stock, whether you want to search videos, photos, or music. And you also have your local files that you can upload into here. So I put my moon picture in. I'm going to put a few files. I'm try to choose a movie clip, maybe. I'm going to put that one in. Choose another, maybe another picture. So that's my, my own file. And you can see here it's only uploading. I'm going to wait till it goes past the orange line all the way through to record your screen with the software, record your webcam, and then you have your text, all these options. And everything's a very, it's a drag and drop. It's very, very easy. I'm going to put in this as the first scene and I could expand that out. Just simply drag the handlebar. Then I want to fill up the screen and I could hit preview. See how it zooms in. And I could take my next scene, which is the moon. I could have this part, make it smaller, make it bigger, move it around, just press down and move around. Take the handlebar, slide up, slide down, move to the middle. I could animate this and it shows you my option of what I could do. Let's say I choose that one, zoom in. Now you see how the effect is to zoom in the moon and I could go depending on which clip I have, I can go this one. And I could also split the clip, simply take the, the bar, it drags you to your current spot on the video. And if I want to split here, just click here, go up here, split, and see how easy that is. And then do another split, remove that. I can just hit delete, and there you go. It readjusts itself. This is awesome. I'll put some text on here. I might want to put Maybe I want an outro. I'm going to do a background, a plus sign, 
see how it adds here and I could actually move things back and forth in the timeline. So this is a timeline screen, scene one, scene two, scene three, scene four. And I could drag it back up here. I could also click on the clip, hit copy and have a duplicate clip too and paste. There you go. Click on it and see the orange means I could delete it. And you have your, your movie, your music here that you can mute. If you have the, um, you want the volume, you can mute it. Just click on here. Now it's muted and you see the little X. Let's say I'm going to choose element and my end screen, I probably want to subscribe. So I just click here, click the plus button and I could simply drag and place it and I could expand, make it bigger like that. Hey, don't forget to thumbs up too. Wouldn't hurt that thumbs up. Maybe make this little guy small and I could do overlay. I like this one, hit the plus sign. And I can preview what I have. It's kind of crazy, but this is just for tutorial purpose. And go back on here, play. And then you can see how it layers here. I could extend the overlay by just stretching this out. So it'll overlay all the way to the moon part. Or I could take it and drag it back and you can see the time in here. And you could move this stuff around. You could take this. Everything is drag and drop. When and that's where you want to place it. You want to place above this slide. And you could also add, you could choose different transition. You could hover over and you could see the type of transition you could choose. This is so many possibilities here. I'm just going to choose this one. I just drag down and you could see it's confirmed. Your transitions here, drag, drag, and I'm going to play. So you could see the transition. Let's add in some text so I could Add this one, hit the plus, and all you do is double click in here, and this comes up. Thanks for watching. Let me put your name done, and then you could do watermark here for your video, and you could choose different font, handwriting, maybe change the opacity of your font to you. You could make it lighter, your position. You could even have a little image for your, maybe a logo there. Make it smaller. There you go. I mean, the possibility is just endless. I would be playing around with this, never being complete because I love just messing around with different features. It's like a candy store with full of different um, choices. So I could also choose like if I want to do a YouTube video, I usually choose the 16 by 9. I could choose uh, for Instagram or Facebook. One. It tells you it's good for down here. See the icon, the YouTube, and this one. It's more for Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. And this tells you what, maybe this I think might be the TV one. But this is awesome. And once you export, you could hit export and you could choose, you know, 480p, depending on your plan, 1080p. And then you just hit next and it'll import it either mp4 or if you want to generate a gif graphic leave go back here i could do a slideshow i could do intro or outro so let me do that so you could choose by most popular the newest one this is cute so once you choose one you could hit customize and you could play to see it and then this is scene one here scene two and then you could edit that like you could say happy birthday or someday's video hit okay new website here you could press enter to wrap your text like play pretty cool right and you could choose your music here you have a whole library of music and you could preview the music if you like it you just hit the plus sign and you have different moods like dark angry happy In my case i probably like happy and I could add plus and it adds into the music. And of course, it's the same thing as making the custom where you could just add this stuff in and then just put it where you want it. Overlay, background, watermarks. So this is just like intro outro. So it's supposed to be something that's not, that's quite small. And of course, then you could export, but we're not going to do that. We can also choose Thanksgiving, like different templates. Choose this one.
click on it, and there you go. You have slide one, slide two, slide three, and you could also add another one in your storyboard, and you could go and look for stock. I took the country turkey. I just put this in just for the sake of tutorial. And then once I put in, do I want to trim the video or do you want the whole one? So here you could see the seconds, how much I want of it, right? Five or six, so I'm gonna do this. And it's gonna be trimmed and it's gonna add it in here. Of course, I could drag and drop. I could add all these elements in and it's pretty cool. I love it. This is pretty, pretty awesome. If you wanna do like slideshows, you could put all images or you can mix it together to slideshows and do this and add that in images also. You know, you can go to your media and local file and say we want to do the moon. There we go. And you could move it around. You could take something and you could add it in. You could drop it in and you could slide it all around. And you could also ungroup it, which breaks each little element apart. You could position where you want it. This one on top, I could make it go backwards or top, bottom. I could delete filters on it, different colors, flip it horizontally, vertically. I could replace it and choose this one. I mean, this is just a time saver. I could quickly make a video. I have a Panda channel. I've used this already to make my outro clips. And depending on the holiday, sometimes I'll do a Thanksgiving outro. I mean, it helps save me a lot of time doing it from scratch. I used to use Photoshop just for my images and I've used Final Cut Pro. It's a lot of work and using this, everything's all in one place. I don't have to think, I get my inspiration. I think it's awesome. Let's talk about pricing. I have good news for you, two good news. Number one, this flex clip is now on AppSumo for a lifetime deal. So I would suggest you grab it. And the second good news is that it's there's going to be a Black Friday special. So I think on AppSumo, if you spend a certain amount, you get discounts. So I would totally take advantage of this. So I'm on the AppSumo site and you could see here it has uh, 78 reviews, five tacos. That means it's excellent. So these are the people that purchase it. And you can get your lifetime deal for $49 basic deal. You can get custom watermark. You don't have the flex clip intro. You get unlimited video downloads, one stock image per project, and you can make videos in eight languages. That is awesome, especially if you're on YouTube. You know that your audience is large. You know, with my panda video, I think it there's people from India, there's people from all over the world. So this is such a benefit for me. And I'm sure it'll be a benefit for you. And you can save unlimited projects on your account. Your video length, three minutes. But if you want to stack your code, you can do 1080p full HD download and you get five stock videos a month. I would highly recommend just doing this one. And if you are making videos all the time, you could stack two more codes and you could do unlimited stock video projects and you, so on and so forth. You can do 30 minute video and you have cloud storage where you could save your project and duplicate it and save time. So let me know what you use for video editing. And if you want to try this out, let me know also how you like it. I hope you have a great day and see you next video.